came out here in, uh, in 98 uh, for a job working for UCLA. My job was to exhibit you know, a kelp forest and the other ecosystems of Santa Monica Bay for these students, but I'd never seen any of it. Jumped in the water out here, jumped into a kelp forest for the first time, and swam around and was just floored at the beauty and the diversity of what was around me. We've used kelp as a fertilizer for our agricultural crops. We have extracted proteins from kelp forests that have been the cornerstone of medical research for a long time. And then as a scientist, my curiosity was piqued and found out that we were losing them. There's a vast marine ecosystem beneath these bluffs, but it's sick and dying. You see, for the past 100 years, the Palos Verdes Peninsula has lost 75% of its giant kelp forests. And without kelp, our oceans would die. It's absolutely crucial for marine life in our seas, providing food and shelter to over 700 species. But off the coast of Palos Verdes, miles of kelp forest have disappeared. Tom Ford wants to bring it back. It's like flying through the trees, except the fish are more numerous than the birds. And when it's healthy and vibrant, it's this technicolor dance that looks like you know, something that only could happen in a film studio. It turns out that the kelp is disappearing in large part because of these guys, sea urchins. Back on the boat, I asked Tom to explain. A big part of our work comes down to focusing on the urchins and the kelp. Uh, and that's because they are directly related. The urchins feed on the kelp forest. And that all works out fine when things are in balance, when there's the right amount of kelp and the right amount of urchins. When we take the predators out of the system by fishing effort or historical hunting of sea otters in this case, We've upset the balance, and what we have is way too many sea urchins and not enough kelp. We know where the kelp used to be. We know when it went away, roughly, and in most cases, it's been gone for 60 years in the places that we're going. We went out there in 2010 and started mapping comprehensively all these large urchin barrens off of the Palos Verde Shelf. We count up how many urchins are there, the expanse of the kelp that's there as well. And then after that, I can direct our restoration teams in there to reduce those urchin densities. We bring back that kelp, the fish come back, the invertebrates get healthier, the whole system starts to function and build, and everything gets bigger and more numerous and able to face those you know, new disturbances that are coming down the line. Spiritually speaking, just the beauty that it is. Um, it helps me reset my clock every week, that's for sure. It's a lot of time in the water, which is also like the most blessed thing ever because I can't hear anybody. My phone doesn't work. <laughs> Uh, the problems of my desk, of my day job, of all my administrative responsibilities, all that stuff just disappears when I'm down there.